All right, what's up everybody? Marlon back here with another news video, and this time, this is my opinionated video where I'm talking about the Nintendo Switch Online in the next Nintendo Direct. So whenever that next Nintendo Direct is going to happen, whether it be later this month, or next month, or it could be September, we need a giant update for the online, a massive update. That's what we need because this is ridiculous. I mean, the fact that they announced the Switch Lite, okay, what's next is the online to be fixed because at this point, a lot of people are holding back from purchasing the online because it's just so bone stock. I mean, literally, it's like eating a salad without the dressing. Like, really? Nintendo and then Miyamoto coming out with a statement talking about, wait a minute, we're not falling behind. Yes, Miyamoto, I love you, but lay off the crack pipe. Like, seriously, bro, for the love of God, like, fix the online. I'm not talking about just a minor update. I'm talking about a huge, humongous update. Seriously, because at this point, you guys are behind the curb when it comes to online gaming. Seriously. I mean, you guys should have made it free. The cloud service stuff only works with certain games. Like, it's ridiculous. The games that you actually really wanted to work with, it don't work. Like, Pokemon, Let's Go, Eevee, and Pikachu, the cloud save situation wasn't working with that. It's just a lot of stuff, mumbo jumbo stuff all over the place. I should be able to talk to my friends natively on a Nintendo Switch. I should be able to send them a group chat invite. I should be able to send them a invite, you know, to talk to them. I should be able to add them to a group, you know, like there's so much stuff that Nintendo can do to make the online worth it. And I know that a lot of people want a virtual console update. So Nintendo in the next Nintendo Direct, you need to jump from the NES stuff and go straight into another console, whether it be the Super Nintendo, N64, just something different. You've been doing NES stuff uh, since the online launch, and right now it's just like, uh, okay, I'm hearing crickets around here. Y'all hear them crickets? Y'all hear, it's just ridiculous. So, people want value, and I've stressed that so much. Nintendo, you're one of the best gaming companies out there. You guys make a lot of money. All you gotta do is come out with a new Pokemon, a new Mario, a new Animal Crossing, or a new Zelda, or whatever it is, and you guys are making bank. A new Donkey Kong, you guys have all the IPs. That's not the point. The point is that you have third-party companies. You know, you have Vivox working on a SDK for native chat support for third-party games. Like, Fortnite is one of those games that really pioneered the native chat support on the Nintendo Switch, and it's like, it's not that hard. Get with Discord, for Christ's sake. Partner up with Discord. Have Discord on there. I mean, that would just be dope. But the only problem with that is that you'll have hackers, people that will sit there and try to hack the freaking Discord server or hack the Switch. I mean, it's just so much loopholes with that. But you guys get what I'm saying. They took away Miiverse. Just bring back that genuine live online community that Nintendo once had. Because at the end of the day, you can't worry about trolls. You can't worry about uh, people, you know, talking bad to other people. I mean, that's going to happen. I mean, it's online gaming. That's just what happens. That's the nature of the beast. But Nintendo, if you're watching this video, please, for the love of God, give us, give us a giant update for the online. E3 just passed. That was your moment to wow us, even though the Direct was one of the greatest Directs of all time. Like Nintendo hands down won E3, but everybody was hoping for a update for the online. I was hoping for the update for the online and we didn't see anything at all. So I'm like, okay, and then you drop a random video out of nowhere for the Switch Lite, which is cool. You're coming out with a cheaper version of the Nintendo Switch for people who can't afford the premium Nintendo Switch with the detachable Joy-Cons and a host of other features. That's cool and all, but you guys are marketing the online and it's like right now, it's not looking so good. And 2019 is about to go out. Literally like we're in July now. 2019 is, 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 is going real fast. So you need to update this online because if you don't, if 2019 goes out and the online still stays the same, I'm sorry. This is not going to be looking too good for Nintendo. So 
please, I'm hoping to see something new from Nintendo for the online sometime this year. Even if it don't happen in the next Nintendo Direct that's coming, we need an update. Please, it's dry out here for a brother. I mean, it's like eating salad without no dressing. It's like eating a cake without no icing on it. It's like, come on, man. Where is the cheese? Where is the pickle, my boy? Where is the, the, the onions? Like, I mean, how are you going to eat this dry hamburger, Nintendo? Come on now. You get the point. I love you, Nintendo, but I want you guys to do well. I want y'all to do well, Nintendo. So, please, dear Nintendo, fix the online. Joy-Con boys forever. Love you guys so much. Catch y'all on the next one. And leave y'all thoughts down in the comment section. And let me know what you guys think about your thoughts on Nintendo's online. We out of here. Have yourself a great one.